A grieving mom says after nearly a week, no, she still has not heard from detectives, no, no, nor been able to view her son's body, let alone bring him home. They haven't even received his belongings. Investigators say Troy Bullock was the aggressor. In the video, he appears to come in close to the still unnamed agent who pushes him back. They wrestle before Bullock pushes the agent onto the railing and they both tumble eight feet down. It is there, apparently out of range of the cameras, that the off-duty agent shoots and kills Bullock. I see that there was an altercation. There's not footage of what preceding it, what happened before, what happened after, what happened during. Both the family and police are pleading with anyone with additional video to share it with them. Police say Bullock had a handgun, but his family says he was a hardworking, soon-to-be father who had spent the last decade working for the same moving company. I just don't understand. I, I don't know. It's just so hard to not, just to know that we won't see him again. And he was genuinely sweet to everyone. Activists are demanding the agent's name. They want to know whether he ever identified himself as law enforcement and whether he's been involved in violent incidents before. Nobody in his family has ever been murdered. No one. We, we weren't, I don't care what we look like, we weren't raised like that. D.C. police say they are still investigating and have no updates at this point. The U.S. attorney could take this to a grand jury to make any kind of charging decision, and that could be a while. In D.C., Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9.